Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math. In this video, I'd like to talk about histograms. A histogram displays continuous numerical data in intervals. In a histogram, there must be intervals. The bars must touch one another. Both axes need to be labeled, and the graph must be titled. The intervals must be equal non-overlapping and able to contain all the data points. Let's look at an example. Here would be an example of a histogram. Notice that it has a title, results of the exam. The Y and the X axis are labeled. The bars are touching and you have the intervals here. Okay, But now there is a mistake with these intervals because you have 0, 10 and then you have 10, 20. These would be overlapping. So this would need to be 11 this would need to be 21. Okay. Now let's look at another example. And um, again, you have the title. You have a y-axis and x-axis, and intervals down here, and the bars are touching. So let's go ahead and set this up. And I'm not in love with the way they did these intervals, but let's go ahead and let me show you how to set up a histogram. Okay. Now, we're going to follow these steps. We're going to determine the range. We're going to draw the frequency, draw a frequency table. We're going to tally the data. We're going to label the x-axis, label the y-axis, and title the histogram. So let's go ahead and get started and see what all this looks like. Okay, it says, Create a histogram in order to plot the age of the basketball team, and I'm going to call the name of this basketball team. Let's go with the Hawks. Okay? And here are the ages of the players of the Hawks 22, 24, you can see the rest. Now, this first step you do not have to do, but I would highly recommend it, and that is just go ahead and put the numbers in numerical order. And if you'll notice, I have placed a little dot under each one because as I write it down, like the 21, I put a little dot under it. So now here are all the numbers 21 through 35. Okay? And the range is 35 minus 21, so our range equals 14. So what I think I'll do is have four intervals of four. Okay? So I have four intervals of four. So now, let's draw a frequency table. Frequency, frequency table. To draw it, just do two lines and then draw some lines like this. Okay? This will be our x-axis or x-data. This will be our tally and this will be our y-axis. Okay? And I'll show you how this works. Let's go ahead and do the intervals. And remember, we're going to do four sets of four. So I'm going to start at 20, and I'm going to go up 4, so that's 20, 21, 22, 23, and then I'm going to go 24. Notice how they are not overlapping, okay? So now I have 24 through 27, then I have 28 through 31, and then I have 32 through 35, and that would be our max number, so it... Um, the interval is uh, able to contain all the data points. Okay, so now I'm going to do a tally, 20 through 23. And notice that if it's written in um, in the order, going from lowest to greatest, it's easy to find this. And I can see that I have uh, one, two, three, and so the tally is three. So the x-axis is going to be 3. Excuse me, the y-axis is going to be 3. So now I go 24 through 27. I'm going to have 24, 25, 25, let's see, 25, 26, and 26. Okay, and that's going to be 6. So you see the, what I'm doing here. Now 28 through 31, I go 1, two, three, okay, so that gives me three, let's see, let me double check that, 28 through 31, I have one, 
two, three, and I missed the 29. So that would be one more. You got to be careful here. And finally, 32 through 35, I go one, two, three. So now we have the x axis, we have our intervals. We also have our tally and then the y axis. And so at this point, all we do now is we label the x axis label the y-axis, and title the histogram. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll set this off to the side. And I've kind of pre-made a graph um, for you. And the title is, let's title it the Age of the Hawks Players. Okay. And then the x-axis, remember x to the left, y high to the sky so the x-axis will be the intervals and so i'm going to go um, 20 to 23 and then i'm going to go the next axis is 24 through 27 and then the next one is 28 through 31 and then the last one is 32 30 okay so now this um, will the y-axis will run one through six so I'm just gonna go one two three four five six I'll do one more okay so I can label them them four five six seven and then from 20 to 23 I have three so I will draw a okay so I have, I've gone y-axis 3, the interval is 20 through 23. Next up is 24 through 27, and I'm going to go 24 through 27, and it is 6. So it will go up to here, I will move over to 27, okay? And notice that they are touching, okay? And then the next one we have 28 through 31, and I have 4. So I'm going to put a mark there. And then I'm going to draw the interval. And they are not perfect. You could do this much neater. But I'm kind of going to do this quickly. And then finally, 32 through 35 will be 3. So I will go 3. And, okay. And so notice bars are touching. The Now I need to label the axis. So I've forgot, almost forgotten to do that. This is the age of the basketball player and then this would be the frequency frequency of players age okay now let's check see if we've done everything on our checklist okay we have drawn the frequency table we have tallied the data Let's check, did we label the x-axis? Yes. Did we label the y-axis? Yes. And have we titled it? Yes. Age of the Hawks player. And so there is a histogram. A little messy. You could color it. You could do it on your computer. But those are the steps for it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.